Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful compliance dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview piece and here we are showing the total compliance, total checks, pass checks, fail checks and risk rating on this beautiful star rating chart. Then we are showing here risk rating by the department, compliant percentage, total checks by the compliance area like how many for the workplace safety, financial reporting, data privacy, labor law and the environmental. So we have taken these compliance areas. Then uh, pending review percentage by the locations, we have taken various location of the office. On the left hand side and on the right hand side we have created some slicer so that you can quickly slice and dice your data for example if you want to see this data for a space you can see the data for the particular period apart from that you can filter the data by department also like you can just select a department automatically whole dashboard will be filtered and you can just uh, select any location also then it, it will be filtered by the location or the responsible person so you can just select that accordingly you can see it is getting filtered now on the top we have created the navigation fan so if you click here it will take you to the another page that is department analysis now here we have displayed all the information related to the department and you can compare how the different department are performing in the various compliance. So here we are taking the total compliance by the department and this is the compliant percentage by the department, highest is the HR and lowest is the operations. Then here we are taking the pass check by the department and again you can just uh, select any compliance area let's say we want to see for the data privacy or the financial reporting or the labor law or the workplace safety accordingly you can quickly see that information in few clicks and you can see it by location also you can quickly select the location now the next is the compliance area analysis so here we have displayed the various compliance area like we have mentioned we have taken five compliance areas here like financial reporting workplace safety labor law data privacy and environmental here we are showing the this star rating chart to show the risk rating and here compliant percentage by the compliance area so we are showing that and failed check by the compliance area now you can select any location to see it by the location as well as you can select the department also like we want to see the data for the financial department hr it for a particular location also okay accordingly that will be filtered and you can select the period also so this uh, dashboard will give you the 360 view of your compliance of your office and then we are we have created one location analysis uh, page also to show you the location based analysis we have taken the five various location of the office you can just add as you want now here we have we are displaying the risk rating by the location pass check by the location and the compliance percentage by the location again to see the information by the location you can just uh, select any compliance area let's say for data privacy we want to see for the various locations or for the labor law we want to see for the various locations we can select that as well as i want to see let's say for the hr department only then it is showing the information for the hr department only so this is totally dynamic now we have monthly trend sheet also wherein we are showing the monthly trend so total checks by the month we are showing here then pass check by the month and fill check by the month okay so again you can filter by location to see the trend by location to see the trend by the compliance type also or for a particular department you can apply the filter multiple level also all right so that's it friends in this dashboard now i will show you how you can update your data and you can quickly refresh it because this is a ready to use dashboard let's go to the file options and then go to the advanced and just scroll it down and here we can just check this option that is so sheet tab click on ok now we can see all the sheet tabs are appearing here we have next sheet that is data sheet in the data sheet we are capturing id which is just a serial number and mm -hmm. then we are taking here department name compliance area location of the office 
person uh, name who is the responsible for this compliance and then the status and the total checks and the past checked and the failed checked and this is the risk rating this is last audit date then here we have created few calculations to create the calculated field in the pivot tables like the compliant count we are just taking if it is compliant status is compliant then one otherwise zero non-compliant count and the pending review and this is the total compliance which is one and here we are taking the month from the last audit and the year from the last audit okay now go to the support sheet here we have created a support sheet to create all the charts for example on the overview sheet we are creating these top cards then we are creating these four charts also so to achieve that we have created these all pivot table these are pivot table if i right click so field list you can see this is a pivot table right and then here we have put this section like this all the pivot tables are for overview until here then from here we are starting the department analysis which is the second page we have three charts here so we'll have the three pivots you can see these three pivots okay then for the compliance area analysis these three pivots then for the location analysis we have these three 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 pivots and similarly for the months also all right so we have created first pivot table to create the pivot table you can go to the data tab and just click here this is the data you can see this is the data table right if i go to the table design here you can see we have given the name as data which is the table name so you can simply delete this data from here until here and this just delete this and just input your data just keep the formulas as it is once you have updated your data then you can go to the data tab like this go to the data tab refresh all as you hit the refresh all automatically all the pages will be refreshed because all the pivot tables will be refreshed and uh, all the charts and the pages are connected with the pivot table okay now to create the pivot table just come here and go to the table design and you can click summarize with the pivot table then you can create on the new sheet or the existing sheet as you want so let's say i want to create on the new sheet click on okay now here let's say we have id so i can take the count of id just go to the value field setting and just take the count so this is the total compliance cases okay and similarly we can take the pass count total check pass check let's say this is the sum of pass check okay we have taken this here now if you want to display this on a card you can just uh, simply insert a card like this insert a text box this rectangle like this and you can fill here white color shape outline you can choose as per the theme whatever you want let's say i'm taking this green color uh, weight of the outline just take the half point then you can insert one text box from here and drag that text box here just click outline of the text box press equal to and connect with this one so this will take the title so from here you can remove the sum of just keep one space there and just hit the enter and then you can further format this like uh, shape outline as no outline shape fill as no fill align this center and you can take one color also let's say i'm taking this one make this bold press ctrl d to make this duplicate and just place this here and this time we will connect with the value which is this one okay and we can make this bold and bigger you can take this color also so that is how we have created these type of cards you can take the different colors or different type of font name and then you can connect it with the slicers also like insert and insert the slicer let's say i want to take the department slicer and then if i select then you can see it is getting changed here all right to create the chart like we have created here this semicircle chart what we have done you can see we have taken here this type of chart which is compliant percentage is a calculated field transparent area is also calculated field and the half circle also so uh, you can just create the calculated field from the pivot table analyze field item sets calculated field here we have created this compliant percentage which is the compliant divided by total compliance which is this one here 
okay so in the last we have taken these calculation just to create the calculated field once this is ready then you can simply insert the normal donor chart like we have inserted here and then go to the format or go to the pivot chart analyze field button and just say hide all okay so this is our compliance percentage and this is the transparent area so what we will do first let's rotate this just right click go to the format data series and just rotate this on the 240 degree just hit the enter so now we can see our compliance part is here this is the transparent area and this is half circle value so just double click on this half circle value first or even first remove the outline so just select this go to the format shape outline take no outline just right click format data series and reduce the two nut hole size around 50 percent or 60 percent just double click on this bottom section bottom slice that is half circle value and just fill here no fill and here you can fill any color let's say we have taken this green color but you can take any other color then go again and go to the gradient and this time let's say i'm filling this gradient linear right here you can fill the same color but in the lighter fill let's say i'm taking this color again and then i'm going to the more fill color and i'll make it lighter like this click on okay so our chart will look like this now we can delete this legend from here and you can see this is a semicircle chart is ready you can just insert one text box here and drag that text box click on the border of the text box go to the formula bar press equal to and you can connect with this compliant percentage once it is here you can take the font name let like agency fb or any other font whatever you want make this bold and bigger and take here let's say same green color okay so that is how we have created this kind of chart and we have created some other charts also if you want to learn more in detail how we can create this beautiful charts along with the pivot tables and the advanced level of charts and the dashboard you can join our course we have given the link in the video description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching